feed the hungry, care for the sick, welcome strangers. They echo what my dad taught me, and I mean this sincerely. My dad used to say, everyone, everyone is entitled to be treated with dignity and respect. The Congressional Black Caucus embodies all those values. They may, but another day, another gap. President Biden expressing his love for the Congressional Black Caucus on Thursday. Only problem, he was speaking to the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. Fox News contributor and columnist for The Messenger, Joe Concha, joins us now. Uh, Joe, give this plays into the age concern, the condition concern. It's not a one-off, Carly, is the problem. Literally every day this is happening at this point. At what point do Americans just say enough? Actually, they are saying enough. You see every poll that shows two-thirds of Americans don't think that this president has the mental capacity for the job. And if he's a golf starter or working at the Quickie Mart, that's fine. This is the leader of the free world, the commander-in-chief, Todd, and this is unacceptable at this point. Let me get one little point in. You look at the last five polls that have come out, Donald Trump is averaging 20 percent of the black vote in terms of support, 42 percent among Hispanics. Trust me, 20 percent of the black vote, no Republican gets— Is that gets, true? 20 yeah. percent? Wow. Yeah, that's that is, more than double of what yeah. a Republican normally so gets. around like eight. Right, eight, nine, right? Hispanic vote, same thing, all-time high. If that holds, you're looking at a landslide for mm -hmm. Trump. I get, like, the, the election's 400 days away, but that's big. And because of gaffes yeah. like this, it, it ain't helping, that's you're, for sure. You really can't transpose those things, Howie Kurtz. I mean, Joe, oh. kind of Joe see what I did there? Because transpose. Um, there was also <laughs> the fact that in the White House transcript, it shows Joe Biden giving a speech at a private event where he literally said the exact same story, minutes apart, nearly word for word. Wow. This concerns me for the following reason. And I, I mean, no disrespect to the president, I mean, no disrespect to my late grandmother, but when she was in the late throes of Alzheimer's, she yeah. would do that, repeating the same story over and over per minute. That is concerning from a medical perspective, and I am not a doctor, but that the signs concern me. Anecdotally and from an optics perspective, we don't have to be doctors. We see what we see and we hear what we hear. And we saw it with Diane Feinstein, for example, out in California, where she was repeating stories publicly. Again, this is the president of the United States who says, give me four more years and let me be president until 86 years old of age. We're seeing the 80-year-old version, and this is disturbing. I'm sorry. This is the only way to put it. Yeah. Well, border crossings are at an all-time high once again. Yes. And there was a moment between Corrine Jean-Pierre and Peter Ducey that's getting a lot of attention. Listen to this. So what do you call it? here at the White House when 10,000 people illegally cross the border in a single day. So what do you call it, Peter, when GOP puts forth a, a, a wait, no, That's no, no, right. no, 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 you can't. Green? I'm answering, okay, we're going to move You're on. answering no, no, question no, with no, the no, 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 okay. no, 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 we're moving on. Green, moving. please. In the back, no, no, you said you were stopping right, the flow of the border. No, no, I tried to right? answer, Peter, okay. I tried to answer the question, you stopped me. Let's go. All right, so what do you think about that, Joe? I think it's amateur hour in these press briefings at this point. Corrine Jean-Pierre has zero ability to defend the indefensible. And in this case, the numbers are the numbers and the rhetoric is the rhetoric, not from Republicans, from people like Eric Adams, who's the Democratic mayor of New York City, saying that we can't withstand this amount of people coming into our city. That's just 100,000 in New York City. We're talking about 10,000 people in one day crossing over the border over and over again. And by the way, hundreds of people on the FBI terror watch list are part of these millions coming over. We don't know. Those are the ones we know about, yeah. by the way, right? The good terrorists probably are going under the radar. So this is a national security issue at this point. And the fact that no reporter in that room then followed up on Peter Ducey's question says, no, we deserve an answer yeah, on this. That used to happen during the Trump administration. Oh, yes. Reporters would yeah. team up and one reporter would ask a question. If they didn't like the answer, the next reporter would ask the same question. Mm -hmm. She came off I've like a petulant heard that child who thought she did, the knew she did something yet, yeah. wrong. Before we go, got to get your thoughts on this. Everybody's talking okay. about it. Portnoy, Dave Portnoy calling out a Washington Post reporter for her so-called hit piece on advertisers of his pizza festival this weekend. Here's Portnoy. Portnoy, listen. When were you going to reach out? We were planning on doing it tomorrow morning. Sense like something who's going to hit me the last second, be like comments and all this negative stuff. No, this is like, uh, this is kind of standard journalistic stuff. Like we Unfortunately, want yes. I, you know, I think journalism has become activism, really. Uh, th they're not looking for the truth. There's not an ounce of journalism. There's no interest in telling both sides of the story, ever.
This food reporter basically <laughs> called up Portnoy sponsors and said, you know, he's a misogynist. 15 seconds to you, Joe. Activism is the right word. Journalism to activism. Writing the story first, having a narrative that you want, and then reaching out for the person you're attacking last. And the fact that Dave Portnoy recorded this conversation, it's a master class in how to handle told these things. told her he was recording. That's so, right. Yeah, it was quite the moment that's getting a lot of attention. Joe, thank you so much for joining right. us. As always, Fox & Friends starts right now. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.